from the Zane Scholars Arena, it's time for the Inter-University Battle of Brains. This is the 2009 Zane Africa Challenge. And now, here's the man with the question, Walimu John Sibiot Kumu. Hello and welcome to the Zane Africa Challenge 2009, Africa's International Inter-University Question and Answer Championship. This year, 32 teams have earned the right to compete through their national qualifying tournaments. They'll be answering questions on current affairs, science, sports, literature, history, geography, pop culture, and indeed more besides. This season, we welcome teams from West Africa. So our players have come from Ghana, Kenya, Malawi, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Tanzania, Uganda, and Zambia. That makes eight. They're taking part in a 31-game knockout tournament. That is win and stay, lose and leave, but never empty-handed. Time once again for the introductions in this round two game. Entering from my right is the Zane Scholars team from Zuzu University, Malawi. Prince Majiga, fourth year, English education, Lilongwe. Kondwani Kapaizi, fourth year, ICT, Lilongwe. Sebastian Kanyan, fourth year, history education, Chesi. And from my left, it's the Zane Scholars team from Makerere University, Uganda. Albert Mloiti, third year, civil engineering, Budaka. Timothy Monomba, fourth year, electrical engineering, Kampala. Isaac Mwiga, fourth year, electrical engineering, Kampala. A very warm welcome to both our teams. This year, you and your universities will share over one million US dollars in individual, institutional, and travel grants. The outright winners will take away the prestigious Zane Scholars Trophy plus 5,000 US dollars each, plus 50,000 US dollars for their university, all courtesy of Zane. And if you're watching at home, we won't leave you out of the action because you too can play and win the Zane game. A review of the rules, there'll be three rounds of face-off and bonus questions followed by the final 60-second speed round that is the ultimate challenge. Each of you will take up the center position to answer face-off questions on your own without conferring. If you answer a face-off correctly for 10 points, your whole team can help you to answer the bonus question for 20 points. First, in the center position for Mzuzu University, Malawi, is Kondwani. And Kondwani, I'm going to ask you to talk to me about the quotation that most inspires you. Yeah, it's a quotation from Bruce Lee, who used a lot of teachings to inspire his students to achieve their goals. And my favorite quotation was one about water, which he says, you should be like water, because it seems shapeless, but it can, take an, it can fit in any container. It seems weak, but then it can conquer rock. So when I'm going through times that seem uh, difficult, or when I'm facing obstacles, I just think of that quotation, and it inspires me to get out of that situation, to find a solution to the problem. That's so you're the kung fu fighter of life? <laughs> you might say. Albert, Makerere University, Uganda. Albert, speak to us of love. I quote, these three things remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. End of quote. End of quote, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 13 from the Bible. Yes, we'll indeed. see if you're as good as choosing a new category. Have a look at our first four categories, and they are abbreviations, African leaders K, anatomy and physiology, words with an A and an E. Albert, choice of category, please. African leaders K. It is. The two most recent presidents of DRC have been Laurent and Joseph Hume. Zuzu, 
Kabila. Is correct for 20 bonus points. Since 1999, two chairmen of ECOWAS have had names starting with K. Name either of these former heads of state. Koroma. No. The other? Your two possibilities were John Kufour and Alpha Omar Konare. Kondwani, choice of category, please. African Leaders K. African Leaders K it is. Saret Sekama was the first president from 1966 to 1980 of which landlocked Southern African country? Mzuzu? Botswana. It's correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Which statesman whose name begins with K was the first head of independent one, Zambia? Kaunda. Two, Kenya. Kenyatta. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 40. Kondwani, choice of category, please. African Leaders K. Leaders K it is. In 2006, Mathieu Kerekou retired after a total of 29 years as leader of which West African nation? Makerere. Niger. No, I'm turning it over to Mzuzu. Cameroon. No, the correct answer is Benin. Kondwani, choice of category, please. An anatomy and physiology. It is. Which respiratory organ is studied in the medical field of pulmonology? Makerere. Lungs. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One. The phrenic nerve controls which large muscle that expands the lungs? Cardiac. No, the correct answer is diaphragm. Two, which name is given to the 12 nerves coming directly from the brain, including the facial and optic nerves? Cranial. That is correct for 10 points, bringing your total to 20 against Mzuzu's 40. Albert, choice of category, please. Anatomy and physiology. It is. Sensations of pressure, warmth, and cold are from nerve receptors in which largest organ of the body? Makerere. Brain. No, I'm turning it over to Mzuzu. Skin. Is correct for 20 bonus points. Medical trials done with information withheld from both tester and subject mm. are known as double what? Helix. No, double blind. Okay. Kondwani, choice of category, please. Words with A and E. It is. Which five-letter word beginning with an A and ending in E is a fruit and a brand of computer? Zuzu? Apple. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Which other A to E word is one? The geometric figure formed when two straight lines intersect. Angle. That is correct. And two, a quantity whose types include mean, median, and mode. Average. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 80. Kondwani, choice of category, please. African leaders, K. It is. Which K political musician called his commune the Kalakuta Republic and founded Nigeria's Movement of the People? Makerere University. Komante. I'm turning it over to Mzuzu. The answer is Fela Kuti. End of round one. The score stands at 20 points for Makerere University, Uganda, against 80 points for Mzuzu University, Malawi. And now, a wonderful word from our sponsors, Zane. Zane recognizes the importance of working closely with communities across Africa in the Build Our Nation program. In Ghana, Zane supports the importance of early schooling and gives book donations to primary schools. In Kenya, by supporting education for autistic children, Zane supports the need for a suitable environment for children with special needs. In Malawi, Zane supports cultural initiatives and the health sector by donating much needed supplies. Zane also supports communities in Nigeria by providing safe and accessible water. In Sierra Leone, Zane is at the forefront of making food donations to communities. In Tanzania, Zane supports education by providing books for classroom use. Zane also supports the fight against HIV and is supporting orphan children in Uganda. Zane is committed to education and in Zambia funds a refurbishment and furnishing of school facilities. Zane, building our nation for a wonderful world. That was a wonderful word from our sponsors, Zane. Onwards, onwards, round two. The score stands at 20 points for Makerere University, Uganda, against 80 for Mzuzu University, Malawi. We have two new face-off players in centre position. For Mzuzu University, we have Sebastian, a student of education majoring in history. Sebastian, are you going to become a full-time historian? 
No, I would like to become a gender activist because one of the courses that is offered at Mzuzu University has inspired me, and that is African gender relations. And it has showed that there is a great gap between men and women in several countries as, as far as development is concerned. So I would like to try to uh, lessen that gap. Good luck to you. Thank you. Timothy from Makerere University, you are an electrical engineer. Which practitioner in the field has most inspired you? Uh, well, that would be Mo Ibrahim, a true African entrepreneur and philanthropist. He founded a successful company, Telecommunications, in Africa. And uh, he's also uh, a leader trying to help uh, governance in, in Africa. There's always a Mo Ibrahim Index that's released every year. I hope, to, I hope to emulate him. Good luck to you. Timothy, your team is behind. Let's have a look at our four new categories. And they are African waterfalls, definitions, it's salty. Let's go, Australia. Let's go, Australia. It is, which two common prepositions combine to form a popular nickname for Australia? Mzuzu? Land of Fleece. No, I'm handing it over to Makerere. Wallabies? No, the correct answer is down under. Timothy, choice of category, please. Let's go, Australia. It is, kookaburra, wallaby, wombat. Which Australian animal is a bird? Mzuzu? Wallaby. I'm turning it over to Makerere. Wombat. No, the correct answer is kookaburra. Timothy, choice of category, please. It's salty. It's salty. People with high blood pressure are advised to reduce salt intake because of which element in salt? Mzuzu? Kaja. I'm turning it over to Makerere. Sodium. That is correct for 20 points. What is the four-syllable medical term for high blood pressure? Hypertension. That is correct. For 20 points, bringing your total to 50. Timothy, choice of category, please. It's, it's salty. It, it is. By weight, 60% of table salt is which element? McKennedy. Chlorine. It's correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One, which word names the column of the periodic table that contains chlorine? Halogens. That is correct. And two, which F element is the lightest in that column? Fluorine. Is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 80, equal to Mzuzu's 80. Timothy, choice of category, please. It's salty. It is. Which oil-rich desert kingdom leads all countries in removing salt from seawater to make fresh water? Makerere. Saudi Arabia. Is correct for 20 points. Which DE word names the process of removing salt from water? Desalination. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 110. Timothy, choice of category, please. It's salty. It's salty it is. Which word for regular payment for work comes from the salt rations used to pay Roman soldiers? Mzuzu? Salali. It's correct. And that flash of lightning means that you get to answer today's Zane super bonus for 30 points rather than the usual 20. It's in a special category, which today is African spices. Please take a look at your screen. Which letter identifies the important African spice? One, cloves. B. No, the correct answer is A. Two, grains of paradise. C. That is correct. And three, vanilla. B. That is correct, giving you 20 points and a total of 110 equal to Makerere's 110. Sebastian, choice of category, African please. Order Falls. It is. Livingston Falls and Stanley Falls, now Boyoma Falls, are on which wide river? Mzuzu? Congo. Is correct. And for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece, one, the Devil's Cataract, Main Falls, and Rainbow Falls are part of which huge waterfall? Togela. No, Victoria. And two, on which African river? Zambezi. The Zambezi is correct. Giving you ten points. End of round two. At the end of round two, the score stands 110, Makerere, 130, Mzuzu. We'll be back to take more of the Zane Africa Challenge. Stay with us after this break.
Tonight, in a wonderful world, know more about it. The question is, why are the internet and mobile phone calls interrupted during an equinox? Global communications depend upon satellites that orbit the Earth, stationed above a particular spot along the equator. Each March and September, the sun passes directly above the equator, a period called an equinox. For a few days around that time, communication satellites pass between the sun and the Earth for a few minutes. During that brief period, the sun's radio waves, microwaves and waves of other frequencies block the satellite from its receiving stations on Earth. It's a bit like a bird being hidden by the sun's light as the bird flies between you and the sun. And in case you were wondering, equinox is a word taken from the Latin for equal night, as during an equinox, daylight and night each last 12 hours. If some other question has you wondering, email me at mwalimu at zaneafricachallenge.com. Welcome back. This is the moment to acknowledge our educational partners, the ministries of education in the competing countries, and indeed, all the participating universities themselves. Thank you very much for your support. <laughs> onwards, onwards, round three. The score stands at 110 for Makerere University against 130 for Mzuzu University. Prince, you're in centre position for Mzuzu University, Malawi. What's your favourite quote? Yeah, my favourite quote comes from William Shakespeare. To be or not to be? That's the question. Uh, this quote inspires me because it makes me realise that there are many things we would like to have in life. But then we cannot just wish for those things. We cannot just say, let me have this thing and then have it. We have to work for it. And for us to be successful, we have to live and not just be in bare existence. Indeed, life is a big question mark. Isaac, from Makerere University, may I ask for you to share the greatest moment in your life? Uh, the greatest moment in my life came in 2005 when I was admitted at Makerere University to do the course of my dreams, that's electrical engineering. I hope you'll find the category of your dreams. Have a look at our four new categories, and they are Africa Today, Athletics in 2008, National Airlines, the first. Athletics in 2008. It is. At the IAAF World Cross Country Championships, Leonard Common led which nation to its third straight men's long race team win? Makerere. Kenya. Is correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Sisters named Tirunesh and Genzebe each won gold in their event at the championships. One, what is their family name? Dibaba. That is correct. Two, which country did they represent? Ethiopia. Is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 140 against Muzuzu's 130. Isaac, choice of category, please. Athletics in 2008. Athletics it is. In 2008, Botswana's Cabello Gotsiamang used the Fosbury flop to win which event at the African Athletics Championships? Makerere. Long jump. No, I'm turning it over to Mzuzu. High jump. Is correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. At the top of the medal standings for those championships were which two nations? The home countries of Willem Kurtzen and Olosuji Fasuba. South Africa, Nigeria. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 160. Prince, choice of category, please. Athletics in 2008. It is. In which event, typically covering 20 or 50 kilometers, must athletes always maintain contact with the ground? Makerere. Walk race. Yes, for 20 bonus points. All of the team events for the World Race Walking Cup were won by which host nation at the competition held at Cheboksari on the Volga River? Russia. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 170 against Mzuzu's 160. Isaac, choice of category, please. Athletics in 2008. It is. Which country with the most 4 by 100 meter relay goals in Olympic history failed to qualify for the final in 2008? Mzuzu. USA. That is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One, which French word names the rod handed from runner to runner in a relay? Button. Is correct. And two, what is the total distance run in the longer of the two Olympic relay races? 1,600. 
That is correct. Four by four hundred meters. Prince, choice of category, please. Africa today. It is. In 2008, which Tanzanian island, also called Unguja, endured a week's long power outage? Mzuzu. Zanzibar. Is correct for 20 bonus points. Agalega Pemba Sokotra. Zanzibar consists of Unguja and which other large island? Pemba. Is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 220. Prince, choice of category, please. Africa today. It is. In 2008, workers at which country's port of Durban refused to unload the shipment of weapons bound for Zimbabwe? Makerere. South Africa. Is correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. The shipment included AK-47s, a firearm first created by Mikhail Kalashnikov of which country? Russia. That is correct. What does the A stand for? Automatic. That is correct for 20 points. End of round three. The score now stands at the end of round three. Makerere University, Uganda, 200 against Mzuzu University, Malawi, 220. We'll be back to play the ultimate challenge when either team has its last chance to win. But first, here's your chance to play and win the Zane game. This SMS game is open to Zane customers only. The first correct player wins a Zane USB data card with 1,000 Naira airtime. The second correct player wins a 4GB iPod. The third correct player wins a 2GB iPod. The fourth and fifth correct players win vouchers for Zane Airtime worth 3,000 Naira. The question for today is, which people were the first known inhabitants of Nigeria? Again, which people were the first known inhabitants of Nigeria? Is it A. Nok, B. Fulani or C. Hausa? SMS your answer to 33971. Choose A for Nok, B Fulani, or C Hausa. SMS your answer to 33971. Winners will be called and advised on how to collect their prizes. Happy playing, everybody. And now for the ultimate challenge. One last chance for each of the teams to win. You've got 60 seconds to answer 10 questions as a team in the category of your choice. Speed is of the essence. You can answer or pass on any question. Every correct answer is worth 50 points. If you answer all 10 correctly, each of you will win an extra 500 US dollars in cash. The score stands at 200 for Makerere University against 220 for Mzuzu University. But it's still anyone's game because the ultimate challenge is worth 500 points. Makerere University, you're 20 points behind, so you play first. Remember, the ultimate challenge is the ultimate choice. Have a look at our four final categories, and they are African Museums, the Science of Motion, UEFA Player of the Year and Beyonce. The Science of Motion. It is. Take a deep breath. People and terms from physics related to motion or mechanics and seconds away. A positive change in velocity. Acceleration. Yes. He developed three laws Kepler. of Kepler. Yes. Static sliding and Yes. The P wheels Pulley. of the Yes. Any quantity that has both magnitude. Vector. Yes. Develop of matrix mechanics and the Eisenberg. Eisenberg. Yes. Use of fluids to transmit forces with car's brakes. Hydraulics. Yes. This E is a measure of disorder or randomness. Entropy. Entropy. Yes. A liquid's resistance to flow is thickened. Viscosity. Viscosity. Yes. This twisting T is a rotational force. Talk. Yes. Five hundred points, five hundred US dollars in cash, and a total of seven hundred. Mzuzu University, Malawi. At this stage of the game, you are four hundred and eighty points behind, and you also need to answer all your questions correctly to emerge as outright winners. 
of the three remaining categories, which is it to be, gentlemen? African museums. Museums it is. Take a deep breath. Which African nation is home to these museums? In seconds away, the Sukuma Museum and the Tanzania. Russia. Yes. The Motomoto Museum and Bana. Yes. The Mohammed Nagi Museum and Egypt. the Luxembourg. Yes. The Chichiri Museum. Malawi. And yes. The Folk Museum of Kabale and the Kasubi. Yes. The Mananya Palace Museum. And yes. The Didi Museum and Joss Museum. Pass. Pass. The Defan Museum of Africa. Yes. The Museum of Kasbah in Tangier. Morocco. Yes. On the Indian Ocean, the Fort Jesus. Kenya. Yes. The Didi Museum and the Joss Museum. Yes. The winner of today's Zane Africa Challenge with a total of 720 points is Mzuzu University Malawi. <laughs> Makerere University, we're all drained. <laughs> But we've got enough energy to say a final goodbye, hoping to meet again in the very near future. You'll be taking away 1,000 US dollars each plus 10,000 dollars as an institutional grant for your university. Mzuzu University, Malawi. Mwapambana. Well done, well won. We look forward to seeing you in the quarterfinals. You're still in the running to take away the prestigious Zane Scholars Trophy and as outright winners, 5,000 US dollars each and 50,000 US dollars for your university, all courtesy of Zane. In our next game, Kenyatta University, Kenya takes on the Federal University of Technology, Akure, Nigeria, in the international inter-university battle of brains that is the Zane Africa Challenge. To join us again from all of us here, it's bye-bye till next time. We salute all the universities who competed in the Zane Africa Challenge this year. Each participating university holds open and transparent student tryout testing. Top students are invited to join the Zane Africa Challenge Scholars Club. The club meets regularly to master the rules of the game, get to know one another, and prepare for the inter-university competition. The teams in each country compete at national qualifying tournaments. The top teams advance to the International Championship Festival.
From the national qualifying tournaments through the international championship, Zane is proud to award individual, institutional, and travel grants totaling over 1 million US dollars. For more information on the competitions this year, visit the ZaneAfricaChallenge.com website.